Welcome back, South Africa. We are now crossing over to our international correspondent, David Kubuka, who is in Zambia. Dave, how is it there? This place is fantastic, Loy. Zambia is moving forward into a new African century. Ala, ala, I don't think I've ever heard you say that. What's happening there that makes it so great? Well, last week, the Zambian government finally passed a law banning the sale of second-hand underpants in the country. What? How can that be great? It's progress, Loy. Because now when there's an important meeting at the UN where they're discussing the future of the world, we as Africans now know for sure that the Zambian foreign minister is not wearing the Scottish foreign minister's old underpants. Dave, are you being serious now? Yes. Africans have been wearing second-hand underwear for a long time. But recently they've been banned in Zimbabwe, Ghana, Rwanda and now Zambia. The underwear was part of clothing donations from charity groups in the West. And the sad thing is, for a long time, we Africans were so poor that we actually were grateful for it. So why has it been banned? I don't get it. Because it was giving people weird diseases. And by weird diseases, I'm not talking about the flu. So what's next for Africa after we've overcome this hurdle? What's next is we as black people need to start trusting one another. What do you mean trusting one another? Because black people are very quick to march together and complain together, but when the poo-poo really hits the fan, we run into the comforting arms of the white man. Why do you say that? Think about it, Loy. When Jacob Zuma got into trouble, did he trust a black lawyer? Not a chance, because he thought that using an affirmative action lawyer would get him a life sentence. And with Juju, when his case is about singing Dubuli Bulu, he surrounds himself with black lawyers from Limpopo, but when he's in proper trouble, he goes to a white lawyer. If Juju is really serious about economic emancipation, why doesn't he hire his fellow comrade? If you ask him that question, he'll make all sorts of excuses. But the bottom line is, when it really counts, black people do not trust one another. Like a black person won't willingly go to a black brain surgeon. But Dave, why does it have to be about race? Why is it not about talent? Thank you, Loy. Dave, answer the question. Okay, whatever, Dave. We'll see you next week.